Got another question for the organic mechanisms playlist. So we're on to number 23 now. So as well as the mechanism, this contains a question on the boiling points of hydrocarbons. The mechanism is radical substitution and there's also a gas volume calculation. I hope you like the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why don't you consider doing that? But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. You can see I've already drawn up the skeletal formula of these um, three isomers here of uh, C6H14. Um, so we've got the 2,2-dimethylbutane, two 2-methylpentane two and hexane, and I've written the boiling points next to each one. So the obvious trend here is as the amount of branching increases, the boiling point decreases. So the reason for that is the branching uh, reduces the surface contact between the molecules and that leads to weaker London forces or you could say induced dipole-dipole forces and obviously if those forces, those intermolecular forces are weaker, less energy is going to be needed to overcome them or break them. Moving on to part B, which deals with the mechanism. So we're told 2-methylpentane uh, reacts with bromine by radical substitution, and the mechanism is focusing on this particular product here, 3-bromo-2-methylpentane. So we've got to come up with the initiation, propagation, and termination reactions. So starting with initiation, that's when the bromine molecule is broken by homolytic fission. So we take a bromine molecule and we turn it into two bromine radicals and the condition for that is UV. So moving on to the propagation steps, you'll notice I've highlighted this part of the question here. We've got to be really specific about where the dot is, the unpaired electron. So in the first propagation step, the 2-methylpentane is attacked by one of these highly reactive bromine radicals and it's going to take a hydrogen from this carbon here, so carbon number three, because we are making three bromo to methylpentane. So it's really important in your organic radical product that your dot goes on carbon three. And then the second propagation step, that organic radical reacts with the bromine molecule and you get an attachment here. So the bromine attaches at uh, carbon three and we make a bromine radical which could obviously then strip out the next hydrogen and the next and so on so you get that chain reaction forming but this is not testing that so we'll just leave that there and then for the three termination steps we're basically just going to take any of the radicals any two of the radicals and put them together so the easiest one to start with is two bromine radicals becoming a br2 molecule next one is that one there and then the final one is we're going to take two of these organic radicals and we're going to join them together, but they're going to join at carbon three, which is going to make this lovely looking thing here. Moving on to the next part, we've got to use molecular formula for the equation. So there's the reaction there. And the thing I always tell my students is every substitution in radical substitution requires a mole of halogen and it also makes a mole of a hydrogen halide. So if we're taking out or if we're substituting all 14 hydrogens, we need 14 moles of bromine in this case, and we're going to make 14 moles of hydrogen bromide. Moving on to the last part of the question, the calculations. You see I've highlighted the key bit here, the molar gas volume at the conditions used for this reaction is 40 decimeters cubed per mole, not the usual 24 decimeters cubed per mole. So to work out the moles of B, we take the volume given, but be careful, it's in centimetres cubed, whereas the molar gas volume given is in decimetres cubed per mole. So we're putting that into decimetres cubed, dividing it by that molar gas volume. So there's that many moles of B. So the MR of B is the mass over those moles. So it's 480.5. We're going to subtract 72 from that because of the six carbons it's got, which leaves us with 408.5 for the bromines and hydrogens. So the next thing we need to do is divide by the MR of one bromine, 79.9. So we get just over five. 
So therefore, it must be C6, Br5. Remember, there's a total of 14 um, things, atoms added to the six carbons. So it must be H9.